I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> nice. So plan is healthy. Oh. Do we have movie to watch? We have movie to watch to improve guts, but it's a Sunday night. Um, as long as we can go out. Good night. Ah, nice work today. What did I? What did I do? Nice work today. Mm. So we can go out. If it, that's the case, we just oh. watch something. <sighs> the hell is this? How the hell are the dead running about? Have you been bitten? Show me your arms. You haven't been scratched or bitten, have you? For real? I didn't expect the Phantom Thieves would suppress a man that even the police had trouble with. The fact they have so much support online is worrisome. I'm in a bind since I previously denounced them. How the interviews these days ask me about that. Still, can we really say the Phantom Thieves are on the side of justice with just this example? I was originally investigating the mental shutdown incidents. People change suddenly, and cause strange accidents or horrible crimes. Don't you think it's similar to the change of heart that the Phantom Thieves are doing? Hmm. Now that I think about it, their actions mirror the mental shutdown cases with the rate of victims. It's impossible not to see a connection there. Ah, sorry. I don't want to make you late. I'll see you again. Okay, let's get started. Hmm. How about you? Um. Uh, why can't I use the internet? Memories that last a long time. Infinite. Forever. Nice. This is it. That's right. No way. Not me. 
Nice going. Are you listening? No way. <laughs> hey. Hey. Surprise! Are you headed home too? Same here. I don't have club practice today. That reminds me. There's something I wanted to report to you. Would now be a good time? Thank you. Why don't we find a seat somewhere? Huh? And you are... It's been quite a while, Akechi-san. And the same for you. Yoshizawa-san, right? My father works at a TV station. Have you ever seen Good Morning Japan? My father's the director. I've been brought onto the show as a guest a number of times now. That's how I ended up becoming acquainted with Yoshizawa-san. I didn't know you knew her as well. That's right. He's been offering me guidance lately. A deal, you say? Huh. That's quite the interesting relationship you two have. So, what were you two up to? Oh, right! I was just about to share some exciting news. It's nothing to keep secret, so I may as well spill it now. About that summer competition I mentioned to you before? I was chosen to be our club representative! This only feels like the beginning to me, though. Isn't your club's team considered to be quite prestigious? And you're their representative. I must say, that's extremely impressive. Thank you. I'll do my best to make everyone proud. I'll be cheering you on as well. Ah, I have an idea. Since all three of us are here, why don't we go somewhere as a group? We can call it our little celebration for Yoshizawa-san's success. That would be wonderful! Does that work for you, Senpai? That settles it. Would you mind if I chose the place? There's a wonderful little cafe I know about. And you want to eat, let me guess, pancake? Of course! Lead the way! Yoshizawa-san? You drink hot beverages even in the summer? I have to prevent my body from getting too cold, since the meat's coming up rather soon. I see. You make sure you're covering all your bases. But isn't... aren't you drinking a hot beverage too? Such a strange question to ask. Oh, yeah. He, he, he asked the same question. Point. Well, some people say coffee can cool you off, even when hot, so I try to avoid that, too. Coffee can cool you off? I saw it just makes your heart beat faster. I had 
this image that you enjoy sweet things, Akechi-san. Is that untrue? I swear I saw you eating fried sweet bread on TV just the other day. And he likes pancake. It's all part of a marketing strategy. That sort of stunt is an easy crowd pleaser. You seem to have your own bases covered as well. Presenting oneself in a favorable light is nothing surprising. More surprising is just how innocent you seem to be. I've been wondering, how do you two know each other? His social studies class visited the set of the TV show I appeared on. Ah, that's right. Second year's got to go to a TV station. He and I exchanged our opinions during the shoot, and his way of thinking intrigued me. I can definitely see that. Senpai's take on things often helps me as well. That reminds me, Yoshizawa-san. You had mentioned that he's been providing you with some guidance. Yes. Like you just said, his way of thinking is intriguing. I figured I could benefit from his input. In that case, let's play a little game. Would you mind if I pose the same question to you that I first asked him? No, go right ahead. So, my question was, what do you think of the Phantom Thieves, Yoshizawa-san? The Phantom Thieves? You mean in the case that they do in fact exist, yes? I admit that the assistance of others in need is a truly great act. But, I simply can't agree with their methods. I see. Care to explain why? I suspect the Phantom Thieves' existence isn't going to be beneficial to society in the long run. How so? Well, for example, when someone's faced with a problem to overcome, I believe they need to do it themselves. Getting help from others is totally fine, but in the end, it takes a person's initiative to truly create lasting change. If society relied upon a safety net like the Phantom Thieves, I worry that people would stop making a conscious effort. Granted, this depends on how severe the problem is, and it's inaccurate to apply generalizations to an entire population. But I believe a society where everyone simply leaves matters to the Phantom Thieves wouldn't last for very long. I see. So, in the sense of a person's growth, their actions actually hinder it. Quite an interesting take on the matter. Let me ask you then, what do you think of Yoshizawa-san's opinion? <laughs> Quite. I'd say it's equally as unique as your own opinions. Wait, could you actually be a fan of the Phantom Thieves, Senpai? What was my opinion again? I forgot. I didn't mean to start an argument. I just can't help myself sometimes. Let's change the subject to something a bit lighter. I'm sorry, I should probably get going. If I'm away from home too late, my parents will begin to worry. Right, then let's call it a day. Good luck on your competition. Thank you. Well then, see you later. Ah, you're back.
study? Do I want to study? I don't want to study. I learned that you don't really need to to choose what answers to give. Like it's independent on leveling up this confidant. It's deceiving the number of notes in his head on his head. Not a zero. No way, you are. All right. What? No follow-up messages and calls. Hmm. Hmm. My hope rests with the Phantom Thieves. It's open. Welcome. Excuse me. It was nothing. No. Good. Uh, yes.
I see. No. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Quite. Do I have death? Yes, I do. Great. Don't pass out, okay? What?
All right. Oh. What? Let me watch again. I forgot to put on the correct persona.
Temporarily increase money earned from battle. Um. Oh, um. Goodbye. What about studying? Okay, so I could do this, but I don't wanna. I'm just gonna look up. Ooh, we can do this! Oh, it's already midterm. Oh, oops. <laughs> What's about about? Oh, I remember those days you have a exam sheet and you have an answer sheet and I wonder if that it's actually timing us. Let's get started. Nice. 
My parents are gonna kill me. There was so much stuff on that exam. I didn't have time to study everything. I probably could have managed if I had an extra week, too. An extra week, huh? The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Oh, you mean like Yoshizawa-san? I heard the school moved her exam period. Must be nice getting perks like that. Hey there. Congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Anyway, as I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Hmm. I'll check if this is something... This is a conversation that's important. You won't be able to get beyond rank 5 until after September 19. Mm. Well, I suppose that's actually accurate. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take on it. Okay, here goes. Oh, this is all hypothetical, mind you, but... Imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? You're saying their expectations will turn into anger and scorn, right? Yep, that's definitely true. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. This may not be the job for you. That's pretty harsh. I see. You're approaching reality from a rational point of view. No, it could actually be that you understand reality's unfairness, yet you're willing to stand up to it. That may be the reason you're at this academy now. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get all analytical. What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Hmm... Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. This is just a thought, but... What if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive.
good point. You're right. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you. And enjoy your vacation. Exams are finally over. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. Oh, I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. Hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. <laughs> I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. It might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <sighs> and I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever! It's over with now. Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thief's popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? It kind of feels like our time's finally here. I have even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party. I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. We sure are on top of these kinds of things. Now for the weather. for the night. What's up? Mm. Why? Why? Why are you staring at my face? Ryuji, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Sure. You need some money for food or something? Not this time. I've actually been mulling over a new battle tactic for a while now. And I'd like for you to lend a hand in bringing my idea to fruition. Oh, a new move? That sounds badass. I totally want in. Well, it's merely a rough idea at this point, but... What do you think? Wasn't that, like, way more detailed than some rough idea? <laughs> I don't deserve such praise. I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. Sick! So, uh, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. Same here. What was that? It's so hot! It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. Who 
Whose bright idea was it to come here? Yours. And just look at that crowd. Smiling faces everywhere you look. With that, let's move right into asking some of the visitors here for their comments. A TV crew, huh? We should grab our kebabs and get out of here. Ah, let's interview those three. <laughs> hey, is she talking about us? Run! You guys, run! What the? What do we do? That would just make us appear even more suspicious. But we escape. They got us! Oh, hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up and make some real cringy comments so they can't use any of the footage. Oh, that's smart. Hello. It sure is hot today, huh? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? <laughs> uh, anyway... Since you're here for the festival, does that mean you and your friends there are meat lovers? Uh... I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> sweets are just to die for. <laughs> well, uh... Thank you very much for your time. Oof, that was too close. That was truly cringeworthy. But are you certain that they won't air any of it? I'm pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. More important than that, though, it's time to get some meat! Oh, right! My kebab! The lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat! Standing around in the sweltering heat was rather trying. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. How mysterious. That's pretty poetic, dude. Well, we came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What thing? I heard they're building some kind of huge-ass stadium or something nearby. Wait, was that what it was? You don't know what you're talking about, do you? A stadium? Well, such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for personal reference. Yeah, then come on, let's go! So, that's it? It barely even started? We seem to be premature spectators. <laughs> I guess this is what people call jumping the gum. Jumping the gun. <laughs> eh, there ain't nothing to do here. You want to go grab a bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water and a hot towel. Ah, uh, well, in that case, probably ought to just call it quits for today. Hmm? Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? Don't you think she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meat earlier. Uh, ain't you guys headed home? Huh? Oh, well, see you then. Yes, catch you later. Senpai? Yes. Uh, did you come to see the stadium, too? Same here. I needed to give myself a pep talk. Sometimes, when things get me down, I come here. Although, that doesn't really answer your question, does it? I know this may get in the way of your plans, 
but would you be willing to join me for lunch? I can't say no. Whew, that was delicious. Well, let me just check if this is some conversation that's important. Assume. Ah. <sighs> I'm always like this after a meet. In all honesty, I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming my performance. Simply put, it was a disaster. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. I think that's a big factor. Something similar happened to me in middle school, but back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. I have a younger sister. We promised each other that we'd win international gymnastics competitions together, but this spring, she died in an accident. I promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world. But I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. I've really been throwing myself into practice, but I wonder if even that won't be enough. Senpai. No. And you're right. I can't let it end like this. You just keep on rescuing me, don't you? Okay, no more brooding. There are still more meats left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. Thank you so much for listening to all that. Now I feel like I've been recharged, mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> At least my mind and spirit are recharged. The best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take care. So energetic. I don't know how I would feel people like that in real life. In the game, I do like this boy. Oh man!
This is so nice. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, we do. We can go out. That's good. Yoshida. I feel like I'll check out Steve's gym. Um, do I need to? Let's do it. Okay, I can save. That's good. I guess I can save whenever I have my notebook with me, right? percent Oh yeah, I remember it reminded me I could uh, sell stuff. I don't even know what the rewards are.
guess that's fine. Uh, come again. Everyone. Yoshida. Hmm. What? Hmm. I I forgot to equip persona again. Remember to do that next time. See what is like the in uh annoying no shut up no and I say to that Yes. <sighs> and I forgot to buy the drinks. Ah. <sighs> you. Thank you. It's just like everyday life that I forget to do some important but easy to miss small things. <laughs> I shall ask you again another time.
Holiday means it's as crowded on here as it is for morning rush hour. Wait, so all these people are going to the fireworks festival? Ugh, this should be fun. are way too late. It must be taking time for them to put on the yukata. Why aren't you two wearing one? I don't got clothes like yukata. Man, you look way too normal in that. People often say that to me. <laughs> oh, by the way, the exams. I bet you got a big fat F on them. Shut up! We... we don't know that yet. Are you going to the fireworks festival? That's right. Us too! Wanna go together? Are we... getting hit on? <laughs> Come on, let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around's a pain, so can we just go with these chicks? Uh, the ratio of guys to girls is off, but uh, we can do something about that later. What 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 do you want to do? You you thought it's very dangerous. You you G. That's enough. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. How could you? Why don't you go after them then? So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji? Uh, well, uh, no, that, that, that's... You know, Yusuke's such a pretty boy. He is really missing out because of what he says. I guess. But he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. Definitely more than somebody I know. I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. Oh? Mona, you little... Hey, oh. it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Agreed. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty.
Like you need help? Then yeah. why don't you go buy me a towel already, huh? Yeah, <laughs> we're just trying to get out of the rain, but look how crowded it is. I guess everyone had the same idea. What's up? Hmm. I think I just saw someone I know. You mean the girl in that black car? Well, she's got a ride. Oh, time to show your skills, Mona. We need you as a car. It's not possible in the real world. Hurt, it's cold. The festival's been canceled. This sucks. We made such a commotion with the public, and this is what we get? <sighs> Lame. Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? with a loud bang, like a huge firework. Then again, we aren't gonna find someone bigger than Kanashiro that easily. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Yeah, let's go home. So you won't tell me, no matter what. I have nothing more to say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Huh? What's that supposed to... Thanks for the drink. Hey, we're not done here yet! It's nothing. It's past closing time. Clean up the place. the cause behind the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. On to other news. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Mm -hmm. These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. Phantom thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. Justice, huh? We are Medjid. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akechi-san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? I don't know the details, but there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. A nuisance? Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Phantom Thieves, huh? What in the world are they? You know about them? What are they stealing, though? I'm still having trouble getting that part. Well, it's about time I go home. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. 
Well, I guess it's fine. Just don't use too much of it. It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. Alter, alter data, uh, alter data, and alter people's heart. Kind of in parallel. World-class target, huh? If we can change Medjed's heart, it'll most definitely affect Mementos. a zombie or not. Stranger is just another word for enemy, right? 
Sir, wait! I, I'm human! I'm still human! <sighs> oh! Okay. Well then. What? Tell me. Ugh, no way. We were busy. It's not like I could focus on studying. Hey, it's not my fault my scores suck, right? You don't gotta throw the truth right in my face like that. Anyways, there's something more important here. Mishima. You wanna ask me something about the internet, right? Yep, I'm gonna be straight with you here. Do you know who Medjet is? <laughs> you weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjet and the Phantom Thieves has caused quite the commotion. They started out as hackers of justice, but now they only look out for their own self-interests. That's all I know. They were the group I texted him about yesterday. I see. Nobody's sure who actually belongs to Medjet. Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It'll be the Phantom Thieves' world debut, no? Dude. Don't worry. I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the forum mobilized as well. Now, if we're done talking here, I really must be going. I'll see you guys later. So, that was fruitless. Wonder if anyone else got any info. Luck. Magic, it seems like we won't be able to deal with them by ourselves. I know summer vacation is due to begin next week, but I have an unfortunate announcement. We'll be holding an emergency assembly on Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. Settle down. We've had many strange incidents. The psychotic breakdowns, students being dragged into crime rings. Hence, Principal Kobayakawa has instructed all teachers to caution the student body. Well, this is inconvenient for us too, you know, having to find things to warn you about so suddenly. Stuff's really not going so good. <laughs> Clues on Medjet, huh?
would you like? Take your time. Justine, you handle this. You'd like to read the compendium? Read here. This persona, you'll withdraw this persona. This is your power. Done already? What? No slacking off.
Good night. However, it will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. It's really summer now. I get sweaty just walking a little bit. 
I didn't think Medjed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. The influence of the Phantom Thieves knows no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? Entertained, huh? A luxury for the uninvolved. I know they mean no ill intent. So this is what the public thinks. Oops. I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. I don't get it. buzzing earlier. Who is this? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? Shouldn't you respond to it? Mm? I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Seems so. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat lock. How careless of us. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait, might this be what is referred to as hacking? Then, does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high-tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Then, is this person measured? I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them, that is... Only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. 
That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah. So, somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? with a big group good evening we were thinking about putting together plans for our summer hmm is that a new face I see it's nice to meet you my name is Makoto Nijima I hope we're not being a bother She's our student council president. Nijima. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. A student council president, eh? <laughs> I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. We have late breaking news on Medjet, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. Oh, come on! It's in English! Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information? Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? 
Don't need any more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. Anyway, there's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by, in case anything comes up. Oh dear. look forward to whatever he wants. We have no means of striking back against Medjed. We're gonna be in deep trouble if we don't do something. 